the synthesis of ethyl formate. Attention, formic acid can cause severe chemical burns of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract and is toxic if inhaled. Sulfuric acid can cause severe chemical burns of the skin and eyes. Ethanol is flammable. Ethyl formate is flammable and toxic if swallowed or inhaled. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. The setup was heated with a stirring hot plate and a water bath. Above it, a three-necked round-bottom flask with a stir bar and a thermometer was attached. On top of the flask, a distillation bridge with a pressure equalizing dripping funnel was attached. First, 160 ml of 70% formic acid to which three drops of concentrated sulfuric acid had been added were added to the round-bottom flask. To the dripping funnel, 178 ml of ethanol were added. When the temperature of the mixture went above 60 degrees C, the ethanol was added dropwise while it was heated further. After a while, the amount of ethanol in the flask became too much and isolating the joints didn't help, so the flask was heated until the mixture began to boil. This happened at 75 degrees C even though the product has its boiling point at 54 degrees C. After that, something was distilled off that couldn't be determined by its boiling point due to a missing second thermometer. The dripping rate was adjusted to the speed of the distillation. The temperature stayed at 75 degrees C almost through the whole distillation and did rise to 76 in the end. The distillation was obviously going to take quite long and the boiling point couldn't be determined. That's why the refractive index of the product was measured. This was between 1.361 and 1.362 which is close to the value of ethyl formate. This reaction is called Fischer esterification where a carbonic acid and an alcohol react to form an ester which is catalyzed by an acid. It is an equilibrium reaction that can be moved to the right by distilling off the ester. When the addition was finished, the distillation was kept going at a constant temperature of the water bath until it came to an end. Then the flask was removed from the water bath. 178 ml of raw product were obtained that had a smell which was way different from that of the ethanol or formic acid. For the purification it was at first cooled to around 0 degrees C. Then it was added to a separatory funnel. These are usually stored with an open stop cock which is why it always has to be checked at first. It was washed with 25 milliliters of distilled water, then 25 milliliters of sodium carbonate solution and again with water. Shown here is only the washing with a sodium carbonate solution which should remove traces of acid. No CO2 did form which means that the amount of acid is very low or basically zero. Especially at the beginning it's important to vent the funnel regularly. It was left to sit until the layers did separate and then the aqueous layer was removed.
After the washings, the organic layer was added to an Erlenmeyer flask. Then a large amount of calcium chloride was added. This is not only to dry the product, but also to remove traces of ethanol. It could already be seen in the addition of the calcium chloride that the solvent was dried and became clear. It was swilled strongly and left to sit for an hour. The flask was closed with foil because no fitting stopper was available. The calcium chloride was very coarse so the product could be decanted off, otherwise it has to be filtered off. After that the product was distilled a last time. Additionally to the refractive index the boiling point could now be determined. It was exactly at 54 degrees C which is the boiling point of ethyl formate. 168 milliliters of ethyl formate were obtained which corresponds to a yield of 73%. The refractive index didn't change very much in the purification but it was already pretty close. In addition to that the residue in the distilling flask of about 1 milliliter had a strong smell of the denaturing agent of the ethanol. This was the synthesis of ethyl formate. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to know more about determining the refractive index you can watch my video about it here or you can watch my latest video here.